This episode of Film Rides brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to Film Ride Mondays. I'm going to try to keep a straight face while Josh tries to make me laugh and go. At the end of the earth. At the end of the earth. <laughs> I, lost, I lost so quick. Okay, take two. Waiters. <laughs> right away. Okay, hold on. Try it for a third time. <clears throat> I'm just going to hit you again. Waiters. <laughs> I'm like 12 years old. <laughs> Screw it. Go to the bumper. First question, what should be done for a good story? I think there are a million answers to that question, and I don't think it could be answered easily because I don't think there's any one right answer to that. Uh, I've said it before, I think reading books are great, like Story by Robert McKee or, you know, The Writer's Journey or any number of script writing books or storytelling books. I think that's all great, but I never think you should take anybody's opinion at full face value. I mean, think about how they told stories back in the day compared to how we tell them now. Things are always evolving, and the greatest storytellers are people who brought something entirely new and different to the table. I mean, these are people that kind of switch the way we tell stories. So tell the story the way you want to tell it. The thing it needs to be is compelling and true. It needs to be honest. It doesn't need to be a true story, but it needs to be an honest representation of an emotion, of an event, whatever it is. You just have to be able to relate to it. If you can relate to it and get me to relate to the story and the characters, you're gonna have something great on your hands. I think that's a lot of times where people fall flat with their short film or story. It doesn't have to be something that you have done. Obviously, none of us have been through an apocalypse or anything like that. You could tell that story, but there has to be something in it. What its core is, what it's really about, is something that you can relate to. I don't know if that helps or not. I guess the best way to put what I'm trying to say is from a tweet that I read which said something like, never take anyone's advice in the entertainment industry fully because they don't know how they got here either. And I agree with that 100%. Sure, uh, take inspiration and advice from around you, but always you know, be yourself, have your own voice. Should I make a good teaser image for my short films? If you mean a poster, sure, why not? If you're talking about a YouTube thumbnail image, absolutely. The thumbnail image for your YouTube videos is one of the things that's gonna drive the most clicks. You know, I mean, we all do that. You see the videos in the sidebar and there's just one picture and you're like, oh, God, okay. So that's gonna attract some of uh, the most amount of views for you. So definitely, whatever video you put out, you should try to use the best thumbnail possible. Right guy, what has been your most expensive mistake? What, you drop a camera or something? I, I don't really have one. I think the worst thing I did was I, I knocked a light over. And it, that was a couple hundred dollar mistake because it was fixable. But other than that, nothing. But I do have a friend that was flying a Red Epic over the ocean, took it a little too far, lost connection, bloop. That right into the ocean. Sucks. Became a paperweight. Red Epic, now paperweight. Oh man, were they yeah. able to find it? Yeah, they got, they fished it out. It's literally like on someone's desk oh, now. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's rough. Why is Josh your brother? Okay, I guess it is time for us to have this talk. No. When a man and a woman Ryan, love each other, no. and they no, come together Ryan, in a no. unity, Ryan, what happens no. is the Stop. two <laughs> in which a baby is Belly, creature that then gets. If this happens more than once, those become siblings, also known as brothers and sisters. Josh ended up being one of those, therefore, brother of mine. That was so graphic. Is it not true? Entirely unnecessary. They asked. Last question, did you leave revision three? People have been asking this question nonstop since Thursday, since as you probably noticed last Thursday and this episode, the revision three 
bumper and bug up in the corner is gone and now it's all triune branded. The reason for that is we just want to start pushing our brand. We have not left Revision 3 and we have no interest in leaving Revision 3. We adore them and the people at Discovery Digital. They are all wonderful people. We have a great working relationship with them. But as it's been from the beginning, uh, we have always owned our own content and we're an external team that produces our content completely separate from Revision 3 and they partner with us to get it out there and so forth. So it was just time for us to get our branding on here and they were totally supportive of that and backed us 100%. So again, no, we adore them. We have no interest in severing ties. They're great people and great to work with and we will continue to do so. If you wanna get yourself a domain name or web hosting for that matter, my God, I just thought of that. You can go to domain.com to do that. Why would you wanna do that, Josh? Why would you want a domain name and web hosting? Mainly to get your, your feet wet in the drug industry. I keep giving you chances and I, I don't know why. It's like I, uh, mm, it's like it's like men in black and you hit me with the thing and I totally forget how much of an idiot you are. But tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. What I wanted him to say was to get yourself a website to promote yourself on the interwebs, whether you have a business or you just want to get yourself seen. Maybe you work. Maybe you do the videos or the films is, and you want it to be seen on the interwebs, this is the place to go, man. They got the hosting service that is reliable and affordable. They got the domain discovery service to help you pick the right name for you. And if you use the coupon code FilmWrite at checkout, you get 15% off your domain name and web hosting. So when you think domain names, think domain.com. It's a great way to, to get, get foot, foot in the, in the door, door for the drug industry. Right, the drug yeah, because we haven't heard you say that before. And it's a great place you... to get a domain. Okay. Logo. That's it for today, which means it's time for my suggestion of the week. This one was sent to me a million times. Literally a million, Josh. Literally a million. Okay, it's just slightly less than a million. Yeah, but, the <laughs> but the fact that it was sent to me so many times is just a testament that I have made my love for Jurassic Park I mean, very clear. You kind of are wearing the shirt <laughs> again. It's like, it must, to the internet, it must look like I'm like, Ernest? You know what I mean? How he has like the same outfit in his closet. Do, do you have- I only have t-shirt? one of these. It just somehow always ends up that I'm wearing it when we shoot. I need to like consciously not wear it when we shoot. Anyway, check out this video. It's about how Jurassic Park was a big piece that changed movie making as we know it. And there's a lot more to take away from it as well, including the message of always push further than what's available to you right now or Push what you believe in when others might not. But anyway, check it out right here. And I'll see you guys next week. Until then, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.